Hello YouTube, welcome in my, um, yeah, what is this? This is of course Ubuntu desktop. This is Ubuntu 16 Mate peeps. Yep, even though it looks like some advanced Apple computer, this is Ubuntu Mate Linux. Yep, yep. So let's see what's under the engine. Here we can see it. Um, it's the Mate classic desktop. And what are the changes in Ubuntu 16? Well, um, because this looks like Mint or Linux Mint because of the Mate desktop uh, we all know in Mint. Uh, I, you can see that I also brought some changes here and there in some icons that I changed around. I'm using Midori uh, browser because uh, Firefox is giving me uh, problems. And uh, in fact, yeah. Um, when you just installed this you will find out that there will be no software store installed eh? the Ubuntu software center will not be available so let's go to the control center so I can show it a little bit better to you you won't have the Ubuntu software center instead you will have the Ubuntu boutique let me see where that is the boutique boutique i think it's not here i should look for it here boutique software boutique this is what you will have when you install uh, ubuntu 16 beta at least the the first uh, version that came out this was uh, the very first version and we can soon take a look at what it is but um the ubuntu boutique is a kind of software store that selected some software for you in accessories you can find gparted and some other stuff you know here in education you will find LibreOffice Mat, Stellarium and games you will find a lot of games graphics and there was one real nice little thing that I uh, discovered even though the first time when I installed Ubuntu Mate 16 I installed it the classic way via the terminal and soon you will see this but I'm just showing you now some other sections you see that Skype Telegram and in office we have Calibre, Evolution, Focus Writer, G Labels etc etc and these are all choices that you know they kinda picked for us for the newcomers here you can see some sound and video software and what will you see there it comes there it comes Cody yep <coughs> Cody has been inserted and is already installed uh, into the package of Ubuntu 16 mate so yeah that's really cool it's in the boutique and to get the software store you should go up here to more software download and up here you can get uh, discover install apps for Ubuntu Mate written from scratch blah 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 and this Ubuntu software center is also in here as you can see and uh, the synaptic package manager could also be installed I only installed the Ubuntu software store maybe I should also install AppGrid just to you know discover it a little bit but uh, yeah that's it um, and after installing the software store we can take a look at that as well let's just cancel this I should do this in my own time uh, let's go to the control center once more and let's take a look at the App Store, the Ubuntu Software Center. And for those that did not know, 
but Ubuntu was the first first ever to come with a software center for the user so you know all these app stores that you see out there you know they are all little children of this mother mother uh, software store you know that's that's how we should call it the mother software store and yeah I think it's kind of almost like how it always was all software let's look at multimedia let's see if we can find Cody in here as well yep Cody is also in here so that's really cool but a simple screen recorder I could not simple screen recorder I could not install it via the terminal it's saying the files are outdated or something crazy so I could not install that so that's really a pity I'm recording with uh, record my desktop this software here where is it here record my desktop this is what I'm using you see the big button here if I press it then the video will stop and I can see how long I'm recording no not really I installed PTV that's a very good uh, video editor so I can edit videos I installed Rhythmbox that's uh, yeah software that kinda looks like iTunes and I don't like this sending so I'm just gonna say continue because I don't know what it's sending of course the firewall and the firewall is enabled so that's also really cool in appearance you can you know get these uh, icons changed but I like I like this I like this just the way it looks of course uh, this does not come with the Apple uh, uh, finder etc but I think many of you will know that already so yeah this is Ubuntu 16 at this moment well it does not look this way but this is what you could do with it this is how my Ubuntu 16 looks and I'm really happy with it because uh, I'm watching a video and TV on daily base with this let me show that to you yeah I was trying to install simple screen recorder but it was not working this is Cody the Javis and here we can just go to watch videos TV live TV Maybe somebody paid for a handsome job. You see that? Good, huh? And this is all happening on. Uh, this is all happening on the. Uh, what was it? For uh, stylistic tablet. This is what I made of the thing and yeah the touch is working the pen is working here I can watch my news as you can see everything works really good Al Jazeera live Okay, okay, okay. Stop talking. Russia Today News. Life. Global Life Auto. Language that he uses at his rallies is 
drastically different than from the, the way most other politicians speak. Our big friend, really Mr. Trump. So let's just turn that off because it's already making me very depressed seeing all this news. But um, here you can see, not longer working in Ubuntu 15. Okay. All right. I thought it was working in 15. You see, this is the problem that we get with uh, simple screen recorder. Yeah, the only problem with record my desktop is that it takes a little bit longer. But this is the ultimate screen recorder, I think. It's the simple screen recorder. But yeah, we have alternatives, so that's really cool. Of course, these icons on the desktop are not in Ubuntu 16. Um, let me show you the desktops real fast before we're gonna kill this video. Before we're gonna... Stop this video. So, let's take a look at the backgrounds. Here you can see that we have very beautiful backgrounds. And Mate is uh, really giving something special to Ubuntu. I'm so glad that, uh, you know, Ubuntu came back with... Uh, I really dislike uh, the Unity. What was it called? The desktop that they have? The Unity, I think it's called? Oh my gosh, I really dislike it. And this is really beautiful, you know. I think Ubuntu was the first first one to make that mistake to change things around. And then Windows followed with their Windows 8 thing that they made. You know, taking away the desktop of millions of people. That while the people don't like the thing, they still keep continuing pushing it through the throats of the people. So sad, so, so sad. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that Ubuntu, you know, came back and said, Hey, yo, you guys do whatever you want, you know. This is Ubuntu and you have the power to do it, so go do it and stop complaining. You know, and Ubuntu is completely back, powerful, beautiful. You know, amazing. Oh yeah, did I tell you about the mate tweak? The mate tweak, do you know what's the mate tweak? Let me show you the mate tweak. The mate tweak is something really beautiful. Because the mate tweak will let you... Let me see where it is. Here it is, mate tweak. Look and feels. Just let it load. And here you can select all your icons to be shown on the desktop. In Windows, you can say, uh, uh, do not auto, blah, blah. If you want these buttons at the left as well, you can select here, contemporary, contemporary left, or traditional right. You know, so I went for contemporary left. And here we have, uh, of course, the effects that we can set, Ubuntu made. Or Redmond style or you know I'm not touching this this is just fine I love my desktop you see that icon size small big text beside icons you know we could say uh, icons only so there will be no text but I still see the text so it's all good or maybe it's well I think it's all good. It's just fine. <laughs> so peeps, that's it. Uh, Ubuntu 16 is beautiful and you can modify it the way you want. As you could see, looks really beautiful and uh, even though this all is kind of a little bit fake, it really gives the illusion that you're using some beautiful Apple system. So thumbs up to all the icon makers out there. Well, uh, well done. Uh, my friends from uh, Defian Arts, uh, beautiful work there, uh, peeps. Thank you for watching. Go, go, download it. Uh, link will be in the description. Ubuntu 16 made available for download and for testing.